All right, my friends, today we're going to do a quick sketch of a chair in two-point perspective. Um, hopefully you can see all of this. So I've provided you four sample chairs that I've taken a photograph like, like you have done already. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration of how I'm going to lay that out for you. I wanted to fill the entire or close to the entire um, page. And so I want to imagine right now where my eye level is. And I'm going to start, instead of putting the eye level at the middle of a page, and I've got the page orientated in a, what's called portrait orientation, as opposed to horizontal or horizon or landscape orientation. So I'm going to put it in a portrait up and down. And I want to place my eye level high because my eye level with the chair is at the top of the chair or even within the uh, above the chair. So I'm going to put my eye level somewhere around here. I'm going to draw that line across. All right, so there's, there's a good eye level or horizon line. Now the next thing I want to do to kind of orientate myself with this chair is figure out where the closest part of that chair is. And that is, because we have it in three quarters view, is the front leg uh, of that chair. And I'm going to place that right down the middle. I'm going to do a guideline from the horizon line or a little bit above it all the way down the middle. Because we're going to be thinking in terms of cubes and in two-point perspective. So right now, I'm going to choose right here to be the bottom of my, uh, of my front leg that's closest to me. And the next thing I want to do is figure out what that angle is between that front leg and that bat leg, back leg. And what I can do is just visually place my pencil up in front of my eye at the angle. Oops, excuse me, I keep hitting. And then place that right on the uh, page. So I've got something like this. So I can visually place, use my pencil as, an orient, as a way to orientate and figure out what that angle is. So I can start with the horizontal and then move it, oops, or move it uh, till I visually see it going at an angle. So what I've discovered now that I've placed this angle there, it's somewhat close. It's not perfect to the angle that I see, but I'm, you know, my, these are all guidelines right now. And I'm going to be using my lines to find the drawing, to find where things belong, instead of just laying it out right away. So this is a guideline, and uh, one of the things to recognize is you've got your horizon line and this guideline going off the page, and it's going to kind of converge somewhere over here. All right. Now the other line is going to be, let's see, something like this. So that's going to be something like that. And that's going to fall off the page much further away. So I've got both of those. Next thing I want to do is figure out how high that the, uh, the base of it, which is a little less than one half the height of the chair. So it's going to be somewhere right around here. And then from there, I can go to my vanishing point where I'm over here. So I can try to, whoops, let's get that somewhere right there. And the same thing with this vanishing point. So I've got a, you'll notice that I'm drawing and redrawing and drawing, trying to find where those lines are. I'm not thinking that my first line is perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is the depth of the chair. How far back does it go? In this case, visually, it doesn't go back that far. It's kind of thin here because the way my angle is, I don't see much of this side of the, of the chair. So it's somewhere like that. Over here, I see much more of the chair, the front of the chair. So I'm going to make that somewhere maybe right about there. Now that I have these two legs, I've got three legs exposed, I can take the legs, top of the legs, and go back to my vanishing point. There, oops, this is somewhere around there. All right, there, which will then imply where the next leg is. That next leg is going to be somewhere around here. But to be able to find that, I want to take this bottom of this leg to the vanishing point. And that will give me an idea where that will kind of go. And that will give me an idea where this goes. Well, actually, it's going to come right. Yeah, so it's going to be about right where, where I placed it. So what you have now is this cube. So here's the cube of the base of the chair. And that gives you a good sense of where that, that chair is going to sit. Next thing I want to do is the back of the chair. 
that flares off. Now there's a lot on my chair, there are a lot of undulating uh, uh, pieces of wood, but I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm going to start with the just the cubes, uh, and I'm going to do the back of the chair by extending the back up all the way, and it extends a little bit higher than the her, my uh, vet, not horizon line, my eye level. And that too goes back to that same vanishing point. So that's going to go something like that. So now I've got, you can kind of imply the chair is there, but there's no depth to it. There's just lines. There's no thickness to any of that. So right, first thing I'm going to do is try to figure out the height of that seat part. So that seat is going to be something like that. And that too goes to the vanishing point. So you want to make sure every line goes back to the vanishing point. Now that I have that, I can get the front side of the chair going back to that vanishing point. All right. Uh, next thing I can do is I can try to figure out the thickness of this front leg. I'm going to just do it as if it's a straight line now, not an undulating line. So I'm going to start like this and just go straight down. I'm going to peek up a little bit above because in my chair this kind of sticks above. So I've got something like that. And then I can do the same thing here. And I can take these lines again to the vanishing point. So I can get this edge. And take this line to the vanishing point. And so then I can kind of finish off and figure out where that these kind of pieces are. Next thing I want to do is give some thickness to the back uh, leg. Now my back leg flares out. It's a pretty simple flare, so I'm going to actually try to draw it a little bit like it is and give it some thickness and give the back of the chair some thickness as well. So there's something like that. There's my eraser. So something, something like that that I have. All right, and this is going to go back to the vanishing point as well here. That's going to go to vanishing. This needs some thickness, so that's going to go that way. And that's going to tell me where that back leg is going to go as well. So that you're going to go right there. This is going to swing over. It's going to get hidden behind the rest of the seat. Next thing I want to do is figure out the the uh, let me see, the the depth of the uh, the uh, the back of the uh, the thickness of the back of the chair. Let's do that. Thickness of the back of the chair here and here, and then I want to get those slabs between it. Now they're not straight; they kind of go all the way. They're going to go up, so I'm going to go up with it. You know, I'm just kind of right now just kind of placing things in their basic spot. I'm not I'm not gonna worry about any perfect details. It gives me a lot more freedom with my drawing and uh, and a way to keep searching. Next thing I got the two other uh, slabs or whatever you want to call them. Those two also go to the vanishing point. So I'm going to try to draw those guidelines and then draw a bit how I kind of just get them into place. Where those go. So those are going to go something like that. Next thing, last thing, uh, before I start cleaning it up, is the depth of the, or the height of the, uh, the seat. So that kind of goes back in space. It's kind of the same height However, it's a soft seat, so it's kind of the same height as the uh, uh, as those ridges there. So I'm just gonna kind of put those in there. Next thing I want to do is a little bit of erasure and kind of firming up the drawing. Uh, let's see here, some of the. Uh, Guidelines interrupt the form. You can't quite see it that well. So I'm going to just kind of use this to kind of clean up where some of those guidelines are. 
and then I want to whoops uh, reaffirm some of the lines. I forgot a line here that goes back in space. So that's the thickness of this leg. Um, going up. And just keep playing with it. Uh, next thing I also now I can start working on some of the undulating wood. So this kind of flares out. I'm just going to, again, just lay it out there for now. I'll come back to it to really kind of firm it up uh, at a later time when I'm further with my drawing. But right now I'm not quite there. Uh, and this, this one's going to be the hard one because it I'm looking straight at it and it kind of goes in an odd, odd, odd way. So there we go. I'm going to leave it at that for you guys right now. Um, I can keep working on it, but I think for now that gives you an idea of where this chair is and how it's structured. All right. Good day.